this tool is what helps strain the rice. This is a strainer made in the Philippines. And um, oh, it is used to strain moon beans and rice. It helps for the moon beans to be mashed and the rice separated, the rice grain separated from its encasing. Learning about this strainer will help give you a deeper understanding of the Filipino farming culture. So first I'm going to tell you how the strainer represents the Filipino farming culture and the second I'm going to talk about why I identify with this culture. Um, the strainer represents hard work, time, and patience that are the comp key components of Filipino farming culture. Um, basically how it's used is um, in the Philippines they have standing puddles where just like it's just a wide range of a puddle where it's up to practically your knees. And what you do is you just plant the rice into a perfect line, make sure they're not they're not too close to each other, so that when they sprout, they can grow. And about after about 115 to 120 days, when the pinnacle, which is located at the top of the rice plant, is dried up, what they did, according to my mom, is they took the plant and they hid it on a rock while making sure you have a clean tarp to catch the pinnacle. And after it has fallen, what they did was they took the pinnacle and they placed it in the strainer, and they just started tossing it around until um, the rice grain, the rice grain, got separated from its casing. And they took however amount of rice that they needed to either eat or sell on the market. Um, and when they wanted to eat it, what they did was they put it in a bowl and washed it for maybe about three times to make sure all that dirt was clean from it. And then they would pour out the water, get new water, and put however much water they wanted it, to, depending if they wanted it soft or somewhat hard, and boiled it for about 30 minutes to an hour, and they have it ready to eat. For the moon beans, which they are, it's a Filipino bean, and it's, the color's green, what they did was they boiled the beans, they, and they put it in the strainer, and they just mashed it to separate the skin from the beans. And it makes a pretty good soup. Um, now I'm gonna talk about why, I, I'm gonna talk about why it represents a Philippine farming culture. It represents it because it takes a lot of time Hard work, time, and patience just to get rice. And it's, you really don't get a lot of it from a single plant. There's, they have to have like wide ranges, of, like probably as big as a, maybe not as big as a ranch to have the rice. And um, symboli symbolizes they had to put in just to get their side dish. And um, now that I've told you how strain represents the Filipino farming culture, I'm going to talk about why I identify with this culture. Um, as a Filipino, I am part of this culture, and my background as a Filipino is that I always make rice for my family because according to my mom, I make it the best way than she does. You know, she, lived, she lived in the Philippines and she's been making rice. Um, I haven't really used it to strain rice. I have used it for moon beans. Um, but what I, did to make, what I do to make rice is that obviously buy a bag at the market, usually go to seafood. Um, and you, we have a small rice cooker, so just take about three scoops, put it in the rice bowl, and wash it. I wash it until the water is completely clear, get all that dirt from it. And after that, I would get clean water from our water jugs, and then put it in the rice cooker, wait till the wait, wait till it's finished, and then serve it to to everybody. And same for the moon beans, just mash it. Um, 
as I said, I haven't really used this strain yet. I have used it for moon beams. Uh, today we learned about what type of strain it can tell us about the Filipino farming culture and how rice is prepared. I told you about how the strainer represents the Filipino farming culture and I told you how, why, how I identify with this culture. So next time you eat rice, just remember how much time, hard work, and patience it takes to make.